Hello, and welcome to the Church of Fuck You. I'm St. Patrick. Well, I've done a number of videos about why people hate things, why people hate Christians, why people hate Muslims, hell, why people hate the government. Atheist is our turn. Now, I was going to do a video about why, you know, the top five reasons people hate atheists, but when I started doing all the research, all I kept finding was shit like, you know, they don't have any morals or they don't have any values or because they don't believe in anything, they don't stand for anything. It was all nonsense. So what I decided to do was do a video on why I hate atheists, my five reasons, or starting to hate atheists. Number five, atheists, or atheism, is starting to become the new fucking goth. There are a lot of idiots who are pissed off at the world, and instead of doing something to change their life, they just are starting to become atheists to, you know, like, stick it to the world. And I don't normally mind people doing little things, you know, to change their life or to do, you know, just to be different. That's fine. But if you're going to forego your religion just because your Christian mom is pissing you off, it seems a little, you know, like an overkill, doesn't it? If you want to be an atheist because you've done all the research and if you've, you know, calculated all the variables and, and you looked at it and said, you know what, there can't be a God, more power to you. If you're doing it just because your Christian mom and dad are just assholes and you just want to piss them off, do something else. We don't need idiots walking around claiming to be atheists because they make the other real atheists actually look bad. Number four. Now. Just let me preference this. I hate arrogant assholes. Regardless of what group of asshole you are, I just hate arrogant assholes. And I'm sorry, there are some atheists who are starting to become real arrogant assholes. They talk down to people, they look down on people, they act like they're better than them, they're very fucking condescending and smug because I don't believe in anything. And they act like they just fucking know. Like they just know what's going to happen when you die. When no one fucking knows what's going to happen when you die. You can have whatever belief you want, but no one fucking knows. And they literally have the arrogance of a fucking Christian that walks around like, I just know what's going to happen. And, oh, you believe that? <laughs> You're so wrong. I can't believe you believe something like that. Get the fuck out of here with that. No one wants your arrogant ass, and no one likes your arrogant ass. Seriously. Some atheists, and again, I'm not going to say all, but whatever arrogant fucking atheist you are, please go fuck yourself, okay? You don't know shit just like the rest of us don't know shit. Please. Number three. And I actually hate this group the most. Surprisingly, I hate this group the most. These are the fact-only atheists. Now, these are the atheists who say they only go by fact. They only believe in fact, you know. But in the meantime, they know no fucking facts about anything. Literally, they know just they know nothing at all. They don't know shit. And all that they do is repeat what they heard on a radio or a TV show or, you know, something that they read in an article or a blog one time. And that's all the facts that they know. They literally have no facts about anything while being only factual atheists. Like, they only, only believe in facts. Prime example. <clears throat> there are a group of atheists who believe in a single cell theory. Now, I'm not saying all of them are like this, but there are some who are, you know, they only believe in facts. They believe in a single cell theory. While... Let's be honest, there is no facts that the single cell actually happened. Just none. I mean, there are plenty of theories and plenty of things, plenty of, you know, randomly explanations as far as how it could have happened, but there is no proof. Scientists have been trying to prove this single cell theory for years and have all failed. So much so that even a scientific law now is that all life must come from life, thereby eliminating the whole single cell theory because... It just couldn't spontaneously generate. But these same people who will say, I believe in a single cell theory, will easily say they don't believe in a God because there is no proof of God. Like, these fuckers need proof of anything. Again, I don't mind you basing your life off fact, but there's a lot of shit that people believe in that there are no facts, including you fuckers who feel like you need facts to govern your life, and that's why you don't believe in God. It's like, come on, dude, really? Fucking really. Sorry, get a little angry. All right, number two. Now, again, I'm not going to say all atheists because I don't want all the atheists thinking I'm talking about you because I'm not. But there are a group of atheists who claim to be open minded and free thinkers and they respect everyone's views and they, you know, are very open minded to any idea or opinion while at the same time being absolutely full of shit. Don't believe me? 
Talk to some of these atheists about why you don't believe in evolution. Instantly, you will be labeled a Bible-toting, Christ nut-hugging son of a bitch. Okay? Because he can't understand why you would not believe in evolution. What kind of fucking idiot would never believe in evolution? You will become the worst person on the face of this earth because you dare question if evolution is real or not. Now, again, you may believe in evolution. Others may not. But what happened to the whole open-minded, free-thinking bullshit? What happened to the whole accepting everyone's views on different things? It's amazing to me how as soon as someone disagrees with your belief, all of a sudden you become the most closed-minded asshole ever created. Isn't that very Christian of you? You know, the group that you claim that you hate so much and that acts so bad and so evil towards people, surprisingly you're acting just like them. Which brings me to my number one point of why I'm starting to hate atheists. is because they are acting exactly like the shit that they proclaim to hate. They hate closed-minded people. They hate people who trash people and put people down because of what they believe or what they don't believe or what they how they view different things. It's amazing how they hate all this, but in turn, they act the exact same way. Don't believe me? Talk to some of these atheists about fucking creationism. Now, again, I'm not saying I believe in this shit. I'm, again, my opinion is irrelevant on the whole thing. I'm not saying I believe in it, but what I do find funny is as soon as somebody brings it up, you're instantly labeled a fucking idiot. You're not worth their time. You're just dumb. You just don't understand anything. And they just bash you like you're a fucking toddler, you know, stealing candy. What the fuck is your problem? How did we become, or how did, I'm sorry, some of you become to the point where you feel like you're just above people and you can put people down because they don't believe in your point of view? Again, very Christian of you, isn't it? You know, the organizations, or I'm sorry, I'll say very religious of you. You know the organization that you claim to hate so much that, you know, puts people down and don't respect everyone's views and doesn't have an open mind to even have a conversation? And that's probably my biggest issue with the whole thing. When the fuck did we as a society get to the point where we can have a civilized conversation about a topic that we may disagree with or disagree on without acting like fucking fifth graders and resorting to name calling and just putting the other person down? Or, I'm sorry, immediately dismissing their views because their views are different than yours. Again, isn't that very religious of us? Didn't we become very Christian-like in doing this bullshit? As a lot of atheists like to, you know, proclaim that, you know, they, they hate. I, I, I'm sorry, I just, I don't understand how we got to this point. How can we not have a conversation? How can we not act like grown-ups that can, you know, talk about an issue that may be disagreed upon? And I, I can speak from experience because I've talked to atheists about a number of different issues from global warming to evolution to creationism to just many different things, the Big Bang Theory, whatever you want to call it. I've talked to a number of atheists and I'm going to lie, majority of them are very cool, very calm. We have a, a wonderful civilized conversation. But I've been called a Jesus freak. I've been called, you know, a Christian. I've been called a religious nut because I don't believe in certain things or I dare to question certain things. What the fuck? I'm sorry. Again, I don't understand it. How do we get to this point? How do we get to this point that we're acting like the very institutions or the very organizations that we proclaim to hate because they act this way? If you hate it, stop fucking doing it. Look, I'm sorry. Let me close this on a nice positive note. Look, I understand why some of you are like that. I really, really do. Because you've been attacked, you've been bashed, you've been put down. You've been told you're just worse than everything. You've been told you're going to hell. I've been told that damn near every day. You've been told all these things by these religious nuts. And I'm not saying all of them, but by these religious nuts who pretty much want to put you down. So your defense mechanism is to fight back and come out swinging. And that's fine. But don't let those religious assholes turn you into a fucking asshole. You have to be better than that. And I'm not saying be better than them, but be better than their fucking actions. Please. All right, man, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. This is St. Patrick. I'll see you later.